Right, hello. Uh, this is ooh, episode three, shall we say, of uh, Hoss CRM Dev. Um, today we're going to look at the changes in the navigation, just a quick overview of the navigational changes in CRM 2013 in comparison to CRM 2011. So I imagine most people will have come from developing in CRM 2011 and now kind of want to understand what the new features are in CRM 2013. So I've loaded up my uh, CRM trial, which you can, uh, which you, hopefully you'll have done that already. And if not, you can uh, click on the link to go to previous video, which will uh, take you through signing up. Um, so the first view of the changes are, it looks totally different. Um, firstly, I'm using Chrome, which is uh, nice. And uh, it's, you have a Windows 8 moment to begin with, where you just go, oh, wow, it looks totally different. It looks good. Uh, but now, where do I go? What do I do? Uh, it doesn't seem intuitive of where you should go. So really, the first thing you'll notice is the, ne the left-hand navigation is gone. It's disappeared, been gobbled up. And... There used to be a left a, a roles and settings, and and then above that you'd have more navigation. Basically, that's moved up now to the top. So you've got this. So the roles and settings are here. There's your sort of various uh, choices, and then if you choose one, so we're in sales at the moment. Initially, is your the dashboard. Um, you'll have this social pane, which is everywhere. And it's all right. It's kind of it has some good functionality in, but it's not customizable at all, and so can be a bit of an annoyance to people. It's got this kind of following thing, which sounds good, sounds a bit like Facebook or Twitter, but I've not really seen that many people use it. In the projects I've worked on. That's a bit. That's a theme actually in this is that a lot of the new features are good. They look kind of sexy, but I keep wondering how would these have worked in the projects that I've worked on, and I probably I'd have just removed them all. So I'm not, I'm still kind of making my mind up on a lot of things here. Um, so that's the first kind of roles and settings, and then from there you have the next sort of choice of things for that particular area. Um, it, it's good. It looks kind of nice. Um, this one's good. These little bottom arrows here take you to recently viewed and they can speed up things quite a lot. Um, what you will notice though is that once you need to go to something else you have to press this arrow and that's where it's a little bit trickier because you've got to be quite precise and the, it, if you go off a little bit it disappears and you find that a bit frustrating um, and you can't fit that many things on so that's a bit annoying and this is very annoying. This is the ribbon. The ribbon's also gone I like the ribbon, so um, and now you've kind of got this. I don't think it's called the ribbon, but it basically is the ribbon. But you can, it's only can fit five things on, which is not much. Um, and you often go to <clears throat> use the three dots, as I call it. Um, advanced find is here, but what you'll also find advanced find is now is difficult to find. It's advanced itself into hidden areas where you can rarely get to it and one solution I've sort of read about is that you can just kind of make a web link to it and so you can always kind of get there via that because you can't find it in the actual system which seems kind of counterintuitive but we'll go to trusty accounts so here you see the ribbon has changed the context but this is where five things which isn't many and then you have to go to here. And once again, you've got to be precise again. There are small little things to click on. Um, so we'll click on one of these. And the account. So here, there's your social ribbon. It, these post things, which you'll be following, you can have Yammer in there if you assign that. Activities is quite good because you can add things quite quickly. Um, So you can add like a phone call fairly quick. And then that's done. And so that does speed things up quite nicely. But 
the problem is that with the social pain is that at the at the moment which I here it may change it's just not customizable at all and so there'll be little things which don't quite work like it the, it won't set something like the notes won't set the date and time or something like that and then because you can't edit it you just find it very frustrating and you want to get rid of it um, but it's, it's sort of a mixture of being very good and yet not very good because you can't change anything um, so how's the form this is your basic account form you've got important things here you've got a Bing Maps which also acts a little bit odd and you've got other kind of data another change which is quite good is the subgrids have uh, changed so you've got this plus thing you can search for someone and if it doesn't exist you can quickly add a new one and here you'll see one of the new functionality is the quick create and so you have these quick view quick create forms which have kind of the fundamental data you want Uh, and then it's changed and added and it's all quite quick which is quite called a quick create I guess but um, that's actually pretty useful uh, although once again you flip back and think if I use that in my current project what kind of form what kind of entities are they are we creating where we wouldn't need that much information and without the validation and things like that so I kind of it is useful it's good but you know in real world kind of situations you kind of wonder that's the subgrid and then you click on that and you get to the sort of traditional subgrid view which shows all of the areas and this is now this is kind of one of those things where you firstly you notice that we're just not having as many pop-ups which did annoy a lot of uh, users and kind of befuddled them a little bit but now you you don't there so it's kind of all held in there and it's looking nice it's not it's looking much better than a kind of internet explorer well an internet application um, but sometimes you sort of think well how do I get back to where I want to go and uh, so the back buttons do work actually I don't think it's crashed um, you, you kind of have just have this little bit now and again where you wonder how do I get back to where I want to go? Um, and that's maybe, I think that's just because I'm not used to it yet. Um, so, first things we're noticing, you know, the advanced find is difficult. Like, where, where is it now? And there's, you've got no anchor kind of page where usually you just have an anchor page and these pop ups which I put into tabs. And you'd know you kind of go back to the far left and that's where you better find your advanced find. But now you've got a, well, it's, it's exactly, is it in here? This is the sort of problem that you run up against. You just can't, you know, advanced finds a very useful tool you use a lot, and you're struggling to find it. Why? Why is that exactly? Um, and this five, this limit of five things is rather annoying. Um, but you know, is you do get some pop-ups, which when they do happen, you kind of a little bit surprised by it. So here also I like to just cover the, so you can see that there's subgrids there, the social pane is there, um, and these things, so the left hand navigation again has gone to, so here we can see that I recently viewed, so that, that's nice, fast, so you can see that the left hand menu has now gone to the top. Here, up there it is not that many so it's gone up there um, and then you find your related entities so it, it's, I think it's just different really at the moment we're getting used to it um, other things we've got on here is you've got an auto save it saves every 30 seconds which is I can't quite imagine how this would work in the projects I've worked on where you kind of not saving certain values which have changed you're lacking some kind of validation there because 
a lot of the data would be would be needing the prerequisites of other data so saving certain values every 30 seconds seems a bit uh, interesting uh, the, the last thing I think would have liked, I'd like to show you is uh, there is if we go to um, a lead now let's go for an opportunity so we'll just go through create a lead so here actually oh is you, you've got a business process where it, you can run things through a certain uh, level and you can see where you are and you go to like the next step um, and I think that and that's kind of a, a neat functionality neat functionality of going through the whole sales process which can go across entities um, it is good but once again I wonder how it would fit in with uh, real world kind of projects which aren't sales based um, that have never done a sales based thing anyway that is a quick um, quick navigation of CRM 2013 it is different and interesting and that's what we want <laughs>